Hello producers and project manager. If you are confused or oh, where do we stand on standards with PMI, you know, and the confusions like many books, you know, which one should I use? Where are we? It was like a project management body of knowledge version seven. Was that replacing the six? Did I still need the six? What's going on there? I mean, there was a little bit of confusion there. Uh, since mid 2021, have been a lot of things happen uh up to now okay january 2023 there was a new book it helped to clarify many things so i'm trying in this video to walk you through the evolution try to understand where we were confused and bring you to what should be the foundation right now for any especially if you're going to be doing a uh, training course learning project management what should be your foundation so uh, we're going to sort out these uh, these uh, standards, uh, but first let's go back to mid-2021. Up to there, there was two standards, right? There was the project management body of knowledge, which is mainly focusing on traditional project management, what's it called, waterfall, phase gate, whatever you want to call it, but, you know, the one that's got the process group, initiation, planning, execution, uh, control and monitoring and closing. Uh, that was the six up to there. And then you had separate was the agile practice guide, which was going, you know, kind of, you know, separate. And it was almost sometimes, you know, should we go traditional? Should we go? And it was, you know, almost a competition sometimes. And in fact, more and more, it's not one or it's one end uh, where you see convergence of these two. And, you know, I guess PMI recognized that there are, there are different approach that you could pick uh, when you do a project and within the same organization and sometimes one is better than another one, right? So that's why they came out uh, in the summer 2021 with the PEMBA guide version seven, okay? Well, for those of you that are familiar with PEMBA, typically when a PEMBA comes in version seven, replace a previous version. However, here, that was kind of an attempt to be like an umbrella over uh, the traditional project management and the uh, agile project management, uh, even hybrid project management. All of these approach pretty much of saying, hmm, that's the new environment of project management. Uh, you could pick any approach. However, there are principles that you need to apply, you know, that needs to be in place and also certain behavior uh, that, you know, needs to be there, doesn't matter what uh, approach you're taking, that needs to be there so you are delivering results using project management and not just delivering the project. And that was the big thing. However, the seven, if you look at this, does not cover any of the process group that was covered in the six, such as, you know, initiation, planning, you know, execution, monitoring and control and closing. You know, and, you know, learning how to do a charter, learning how to do a project management plan and, and controlling your project with earned values, uh, calculating your exposure to risk with uh, uh, expected monetary value. All of this kind of, you know, yeah, the seven, we're not covering it. So refer to the old standard, which has left us, you know, to a situation where our environment was kind of weird, okay, because... If you were trying to teach project management or you were trying to follow a course in project management, of course, people would tell you, you are, we are using the PMBOK 7, but 80% of their course was with the PMBOK 6. So people was like, hold on, you know, yeah, you cover a little bit of the environment, but a lot of it, you know, you're still using the pen box six. So is it a pen box six, a pen box seven? Is it a fake pen box seven where you're trying? Anyway, we had like all kind of weird situation, uh, you know, between that time, summer 2021 and up to now, okay? Uh, so, you know, to address that, you know, and being able to move aside completely the pen box six and remove that confusion, which pen box we're using, uh, they came out with, Actually, this month in January, if you look at this book, uh, Process Group of Practice Guide, it was published, you know, this month, uh, which is kind of bringing back uh, in the traditional project management, your famous process group, like uh, that we just discussed, right? And now it's kind of, you know, 
the pen box six, but you know, remove certain things such as the knowledge area, but you know, everything else, the 49 processor there, process group are there. So now we have a, a, a book that allow us to have a clean slate in terms of pen box seven. So now our environment is a pen box seven. That is the umbrella that covers the overall. You have the agile that is connected to this because it's also something you could go as an approach, uh, but you also have the traditional project management that is, you know, still possible to do, or, you know, actually is still, you know, the one of the key one, uh, where, you know, you could learn how to do your charter, how to do your project management plan, how to do your control and, you know, how to do your, you know, risk exposure and everything else. So now we have the situation, the foundation that we need to work with. There's no doubt, okay? Now you could say, if you are a, a, a teacher in project management, well, you should align yourself to uh, these three books. It doesn't mean you're gonna do a lot of Agile. If you do a traditional, you will introduce Agile and, and point them into an Agile course if, if they wanna develop the Agile and you could develop the traditional or you do the reverse. You start with the environment point at, you know, develop on Agile and point at the uh, process group to, uh, for the traditional. So now we got an environment that makes sense. So this is the environment as of today. And uh, well, you know, hopefully that's help you sort out where we are.